Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. Just look at what I just found. It is one of the caves. Holy mother fucking god. Let's go in here. Alright everybody, welcome back to Rusts. We are going to continue the solo series on the Rustified EU low pop server. And I just got in the game when there are zero players on the server. And well, not exactly zero because there are a few people already on the server. But I am one of the first players that is playing right now. There's a red town right here already. That's great. And also, sorry if I'm talking too loud, I, I should probably keep a little bit uh, quiet. Like, uh, not, not talk so loud because of uh, my microphone. <laughs> because I, I know sometimes it sounds a little bit too loud. I'm sorry for about that, but I hope it's better now. So yeah, they added caves to the main branch. So caves, like the huge um, procedural generated caves are now in the game which is amazing in my opinion. I want to build a cave in this solo survival series right now. And there will probably be a lot of you guys coming on the server as well. Hopefully, because I like to play with you when I meet you in the game, it's awesome. And again, please don't just give me random stuff like uh, here you have 5c4 or something like that if you got that stuff. Just don't give it to me please because I wanna like stay solo. I wanna get everything myself. This is why I looked up for or this is why I choose this server here because it has only a monthly wipe and not a weekly wipe. So I have a whole month to get some stuff to raid some people and have some fun on the server and I like that a lot. Hello, hello, I'm friendly, I'm friendly dude, I'm friendly. Okay, just run away then. I just want to find like a cave entrance and then I will place down my sleeping bag over there. <gasps> I could have made a bow. <gasps> There's more cloth here. Let's grab all the cloth that we can get and let's make a bow. Oh yes, and also someone of you said that I should grab up on some components and make some salvage tools as fast as I can and I'm, I'm going to try that. I want to get the salvage tools very fast because I love the durability of them. Metal blade, I can... Hell yeah, I almost can make a salvage tool, that's amazing. Also, when I'm browsing Reddit sometimes, I read that a lot of people are complaining about about the road sign drop rate. But I, I can't complain about that because I, I seem to find a lot of road signs when I'm out here getting components. But what about you? How often do you get like the road signs? Or actually, before I start building in a cave, I just go and build a little 1x1 one one or 1x2 one to have some place to store my items in. And after I got that down, I will probably make a cave base just to, to know how it is and just to try it out and go in the new caves. And I think I will set down a little base in this forest right there. Okay, I'm creating a, a wooden box so I can place it somewhere in these stones around here and uh, store my stuff in it. Okay, wooden box is finished. Let's see where I can put this in. Oh, I can put it right here. Just gonna put all my important stuff in there. And now guys, let's run around and try to find some people that I can hunt down. There's someone over there. Let's just try to go there. Oh, there are two people. I don't think I can handle two people. Could try to take them on. Okay, wait, one's coming right there. Ah, oh, shit. There are three people! I headshotted one. Shit. Take the fucking spear. Nice, take it another. Nice. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it. Hit one. Headshotted another one. Shit, he got me. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck! Oh my god, oh my god. No! Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck my fucking life, oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. Why am I not hitting him? 
My heart's beating right now so fucking hard. Oh my god. Yes! Please tell me he's dead. No, he was still alive! No! How the fuck was he still alive? Fuck! I need my sleeping bag. Shit, I can't- Oh my god, I'm so fucking- I'm so fucking angry right now. Jesus Christ. I need to put my mic away a little bit. So I'm not screaming in your ears. There we go. Now I can respawn on my bag. Let's run over there again and see if they left anything. Oh my god, I, that was just embarrassing. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, what? They left two spears? But what about these other dead bodies around here? I killed two people, right? But where the fuck are they? Oh, one's here. Oh boy! Hell yeah! Oh, there's a guy getting wood. Let's try to sneak up on him. Oh, wait. It's these guys again. Oh, he got my bow, that bitch. I'm going to kill him. Fuck! Okay, fuck this area. I'm not going back there. I don't want to fight three fucking people. Jesus Christ. And I respawn at the same fucking position again. Oh, this is an awesome start, isn't it? Fuck me. Okay, guys. I thought about it. I'm not going to build near a rat town. There's some guys getting uh, wood here. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to build near a rat town because there will probably be some clans around the areas uh, where there are the, the rat towns and stuff. So I'm not going to build near that shit. I'm going to build somewhere a little bit further away, somewhere where it's kind of hidden. Wait a second. Oh, I'm here again. What? <laughs> that is strange. Okay, that's my box in here. With all the stuff that I collected. Wait a second, guys. I'm going to take a look on the playrust.io map. And see where I am on the map. Because I want to build somewhere in the south. Somewhere in the desert. Okay, apparently the map on playrust.io is not generated yet. So... I still have to wait a few minutes, I guess, before it's completely generated. But once it's generated, it's going to refresh automatically on my second monitor. I'm just going to run this direction until the map is generated. I hope that I'm heading south. Yes, this definitely looks like the north. I'm just going to head up the hill here and maybe I'll see some, some more of the area once I'm up there. And maybe then I can take a look at the map or see where the south is. I hope so. If not, I'm just going to kill myself and try or hope to respawn somewhere in this southern part of the map. Okay, I don't think this is the south part of the map, so I'm gonna go and type in kill, respawn at a random location, and I am right here again. That's great, isn't it? I would bet you 100% that this right there are the three people that are just constantly killing me over and over again the, the, the last few minutes. Yes, it's them, it's them. Hey guys, please don't kill me. You killed me before. Just calm down, calm down. Guys, you killed me before. I'm the guy who fought you. Just calm down, please. Oh my fucking god, you cunts. You're fucking stupid. These guys, they... Do they not speak English? Oh, <gasps> hell yeah, boy! I'ma get some wood over here and get some cloth over here and make myself a sleeping bag over here and call it desert. And then I'm gonna live in here and that's going to be great and stuff. And I don't know why I'm talking like that. Just kill me, please. <laughs> I just spawned in the south of the map. That's amazing. At least the south is somewhere over there, I think. Or somewhere over there. <laughs> I have no idea. At least there are palm trees here. I like that. I like that a lot. It's much more cozy and stuff. I think if I head this way, I am going to be right where I started. Like, I think over there is uh, the place where there are the two rat towns. And where there are these uh, three guys building some stuff. Okay, nice. I found the desert though. So... I'll be building somewhere around here. <gasps> here, chicken. Unfortunately, 
this little sucker right there doesn't give any low grade like uh, not low grade but animal fat someone already has a pretty big 2x2 two two right there okay I don't think that I will be building right here in the desert because it is very open here and everybody can just see my base I think that I will be going in this forest right there I have honestly no idea where I am because it is dark as shit right now oh my god just imagine I would fall in a hole which is going to be like endlessly deep into a cave and I would die instantly I would like really shit my pants okay guys I think I will just build right here that should be should be a good place to build I think I just need to start gathering some some stuff and then I have to start playing with the fucking key log again I hate that part because it's so oh wait no I have a solution to that I'll place a small stash down somewhere outside in the rock and when I leave the house I'm going to put the small stash or like the key in the small stash and then when someone kills me outside they don't see my key or they don't even know that I got a key on me or that I got a base so I think it should be a good method to survive a little bit okay I have two metal blades so far but I need um, metal pipes like one or two and then I can make a salvage tool but until then I will just grab up on some stone tools and try to set down a little maybe a, even just a one by one with a with a key lock so just that I have something down where I can respawn and that I have something to get started with or actually I will place down my little one by one shit shack right here it is not too open and it is still kind of in the desert because I feel like this place is going to be quite populated because when I look at the map this is a place where a lot of newbies still spawn I am starving to death that's not nice and I don't have enough wood to upgrade the ceiling right here so I'm just going to get out here grab a little bit more wood to upgrade the ceiling and this little one by one that I'm building here right now is just a temporary solution for a base because I, I don't really like this area when I look at the map on playrust.io because it is still somewhere in this spawn area so I think I will just build up this little base and see for maybe one two days or maybe even if it holds up the whole weekend that would be amazing um, yeah I'm just going to try and stay in here for as long as I can all right two keys in here doors locked and I'm crafting a wooden box which is ready right now um, I think I'll place it right here now let's put this stuff in here and I'm going to put this key outside in my other small stash and I'm going to kill myself because I am starving to death and I don't like that now I just need to take a look at where it is um, okay it's actually a bit far away there's my little one by one shit shack doesn't it look nice nice and cute over there on the hill I'm just going to get out now putting my key in the small stash so if someone kills me I'm not going to lose all my stuff oh nice the sleeping bag is done right now I think I will put it right here yes now I can fit at least two furnaces in here and still have a little bit space left let's run out and grab some components there are some components right here that's amazing sewing kit all right not too bad I can make clothes with that a metal spring okay not too bad not too bad but I still need a metal pipe please well this looks amazing it looks like an oasis or something with all the palm trees and the little water lake right here it looks amazing I love this game oh oh shit there are two guys Fuck he Okay, I'm dead. Fuck! Okay, guys. Let's just fuck everything that I got until now. Like, I just played for one hour, got a little one by one, and that's it. I, I don't care if I lose that shit. But I don't want to build in that area, because there is a group of people which will probably have a huge base in 
like one or two days. And if I'm still around there with my little one by one as a solo player, I am fucked as hell. So I'm just trying to find a pretty quiet spot, like not a complete quiet spot because I will not find that. But I will try to find a, a nice spot where there are not so many people around. Alright guys, to be honest, I have no idea where I am. So I'm just going to kill myself again. And I'm just going to fuck all these right here because I want to start out new. Oh my god, guys, I am such a retard. I am just completely stupid. Because I always forget that I can just make myself a fucking map, right? They remove the freaking fog of war or whatever it is called on the map. So I can make myself a, a map and just see where I am and just run to where I want to be. It's that simple. <laughs> and I was here like for about 10-15 minutes running around trying to find myself on the map on playrust.io. Okay, now let's make a map and see where we are. And then I can use the map on playrust.io to help me out a little bit. So paper is done, let's make the map. It's going to take 30 seconds. I'm gonna go and grab some wood in that time to make myself a spear. If someone attacks me, I can try to defend myself, which is probably not going to happen because everybody who is playing on here is in a fucking group on a low pop server, which is kind of annoying me because I thought low pop servers are a little bit more for the solo players and all that stuff, but there are just some, some groups on the server, which is, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But I don't want to be salty right now, I just want to get in the game and have some fun here. Nice. Now, let's take a look at the map. Where are we? I actually thought that I was on a completely different spot. Okay, guys. I thought for it a little bit. I thought about... Wait, let me, let me draw a little bit here. Is this good? Wait. Is this good? Yeah, okay. So, we are here, right? And I thought about going all the way over here. And, oh no, the dome is right here. Can't build there. But I wanted to build somewhere in this area. Because it's down in the south and... Like, it's in the desert, kinda. I could try to run this way and then cross over here and build in this area. But there's nothing around here at all. So I think... Just... I, I'm just thinking about it. Maybe going this way. Like, first go this direction to find this water pond over here. And once I found that, I will run around it. I will go over here, like, in this area. Between these two... Um these two red towns and once I'm in this area I will find myself a little place to build hopefully it's going to be nice and if I don't find a place there I can still go around here and build in this area because there's no red town around here and the next red town is just here and here but this area right here looks like it is one of the safest areas in the close area so I'll just run over there and it is actually just straight forward in this direction. So let's do that now and wish me luck guys, wish me luck. Wait, what? Why the fuck do you build like this? Like you have a you have a code lock on here, but you have a tweak wall right here so everybody can just get in. Is there even something in there that... Okay, I don't think it's worth to go in there. Okay, so... We are right here, the water pond is right here, and there are some uh, some power lines going from this red town over here to this red town. And if I build in this area... Oh shit, someone... Don't tell me someone's shooting me. Come on, guy. Please help me up, I just got a map on me, you can have all my stuff. Fuck, it's Ice Ice Timmy again! Are you serious? Oh my fucking god, this guy is everywhere. Like, for real, I... He killed me three times now. We are at the same fucking spot again. What do we do? 
I would like to, yeah, as I said, build in the area up here because this looks kind of kind of safe because there are no rat hounds or anything or maybe even up here but i would run so fucking long to get there or i could try to get down here but it's the desert it's a very very open space my little one by one base is built somewhere around this area i think somewhere I, somewhere over here is my little one by one so there's a group over here as well um, yeah, I think I think I'll try to run down here. Let's just see and hope for the best. My little one by one wasn't over here. It was over here. Because I remember this place right here, where I am right now. And I remember that I was running over there and like making all this way over there. Just to go over here and build somewhere over there. Alright. I think I didn't respawn here before. Let me just grab up on some uh, 100 wood and make myself uh, a map so I can see where I am. Wait up. I'm at the same place again. This is just ridiculous, guys. This is just ridiculous. Why do they not change the spawn points? Like, why is everybody spawning in the same fucking position? At least I am always spawning in the same area. No, actually, you know what? I'll just try it. I'll just run that way and uh, see see if I survive or not. Okay, so far so good. Haven't found anyone who is trying to kill me yet. So yeah, I think uh, there are a lot more solo players up here in the north because in the south I always, always, always meet huge clans. It doesn't matter on what server I go. I just When I go in the desert I find huge clans. So. I think in the north it is most likely that I will encounter other solo players. Okay, I am kind of in the area right now. That's nice. Um, over here to my right is the huge mountain and over there to my left there's a little bit more piece of land. So I think I will head somewhere over there. And also I really like the fact that they changed the changed the way how food works because now you actually need to eat and drink before that it was just like oh yeah here eat a piece of meat and you're not thirsty anymore <laughs> which was kind of stupid but now you have to actually drink some stuff if you're thirsty and i like that a lot it makes the game feel a little more a little bit more realistic <gasps> metal pipes hell yeah boy i will build right here I like this area. I will build right fucking here. Place down the back here and type in north. There we go. I will get some more wood to set up a little one by one. And after that, I will just do the same thing I tried to do before. Grab some components, get some, some to proper tools, upgrade the base a little bit. And after that, try to get some more components or maybe even weapons and maybe kill some people. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. Just look at what I just found. It is one of the caves. Holy mother fucking god. Let's go in here. Oh my god, let's... I am so excited about this. I am so fucking excited about this. Oh, there's this thing here. Oh my god! How far down does this go? Can I... Can I use this somehow? Can I pull it up? Is there some kind of mechanism? No, I can only jump down. It seems like I can only jump down. But there's a, a little note here. Which I'm going to get. Oh my god. But only this little cave. It looks amazing already. I could try to jump down there. In that little hole. But... I don't think I would survive it. Sorry that the screen is just complete darkness right now. There has to be another way in this cave. There has to be like another entrance somewhere. And I want to find it. 
it's crazy how dark it is in here. I wonder if um, at daytime it's still this dark. I don't hope so because it would be nice. No, actually I hope that it's still going to be dark in here. Because it would add a lot more atmosphere to the game. This is just great. This is wonderful. I love these caves already. <laughs> it's funny. I was just looking for a note. And then all of a sudden I find a cave. It is it is so awesome. So I have to remember this, this place. Like right here. Shit. No, I can't place the wall here. I fucked it up, guys. No, yeah, I need to destroy it. <laughs> I was thinking about when I expand this base to a 2x2 two two base that um, I can just leave it like that. Okay, now I have to make a new one. I only have 700 wood left, so rip that. Um, yeah, just gonna grab some more wood. Okay, shit, I'm out of wood already, again. <laughs> but at least I have this thing placed down and... I got a door. Nice. Now we have a little one by one shit check again with the key lock and I feel a little bit safer. I'm making a wooden box now to store a key in here and I will make another one if I get out and once I'm out again I will look for components to make salvage tools and upgrade the base faster and I will go in this uh, in this cave again to take a look in there what it looks like in the day and yeah, just gonna try and do that for now. Oh, they fixed this, okay. I cannot place the campfire through the wall anymore. So now it fits right in the corner as well, that's nice. All right, boys, let's get out. And first I will take a look again in this cave because I, I bet you guys are hyped for the caves as well. Well, at least I am hyped for the caves like shit. So let's go there, take a look in it again. Wait a second, where was this cave entrance? It was somewhere around here, wasn't it? <gasps> Wait, there is. Oh no, I thought this was an entrance. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I don't care about the fucking cave right now. I just want to get this pick. There we go. And, oh my god, is that another one right there? It's another one. Holy shit. I need these. I need these to make a furnace. There we go, that's number one. And that's number two. I could swear to god, the cave is somewhere around here. It is not that far from my base, I know that. I just don't know where exactly it is. I just heard a gunshot, that means someone already has a gun. And it is just two hours into the wipe. And someone has a gun already. People in this game are crazy. <gasps> oh boy, I just noticed I can make salvage tools, right? Please tell me I... Shit, I need five metal blades. Okay, metal blades are kind of easier to get than metal pipes. So that's good. Oh, there's there's another entrance, isn't it? Or is this the same one? Let me just check this quickly. I think it's the same entrance that I found before. God damn it, I don't need metal springs. I need metal blades. Just give me metal blades, please. No, I think this is a different entrance. Oh no, it's the same. It's the same one, okay. But oh boy, oh boy. Okay, in daylight it's a lot brighter. Well, in some in some uh, corners it isn't. But Jesus Christ, I wanna get down there so bad, but when I jump down there I'm going to be so dead. What the fuck was that? Oh my God, I wanna go down there so bad. But not right now. Maybe once I will just jump down there while naked and uh, try to survive. Oh, oh my, oh my fucking god. There's the big entrance. Okay, boys. Now we know what to do next time when we are out here. There's another and this was the entrance that we were in before. Oh shit, it's a whole cave complex around here. This is amazing. I just hope that a fucking Zerg clan is not going to come over here and just take everything. Okay, so it's not below a rock. So it's it's right here. Good, I have to remember that. I'm just going to run around the road, try to get more components for the savage tools, upgrade the base, and then I will be going in that cave. I hope you're excited about that. I am for sure excited about that. And I forgot to put my key away. That is not good. Okay, good. I am making some metal fragments in this campfire right now 
and then I am crafting the furnace right now, which is done in half a minute. Here we go, got it. Um, I'll put it... Oh, you can't place the furnaces so they stick out anymore. That's amazing. Thank you, Face Punch. You did a great job on that. There we go. Now let's put in the metal fragments here, so we get the code lock very fast. Yes, we are crafting the code lock. Once that's down, I feel very, very, very good. I feel a lot better once I got a code lock because that is just a huge relief. You just get like, there's still all this tension all the time because you still have a key somewhere around there and someone might find it, someone might get in and all that stuff. But once you got the code lock, everything is fine. Nice, now we got the code lock down. I feel so much safer now and I can throw away this shit. Um, now, stuff that I will do. I think I will keep the furnace burning, of course. But also with a little bit of sulfur in it. Okay guys, I got my own little friend here now. I will go down to the road and try to find these components finally. Just this one metal blade. And after that I will be going into the cave. And explore a little bit. I already have 11 sewing kits plus the stuff that is in my base. That's ridiculous. I need more metal blades please. Propane tank. Fuck the propane tank. I don't... four of them. Yeah, okay, okay I don't have any of them stored in my base. So I should probably keep them. Oh, metal fragments. That's at least something that I can use. Yes, a metal blade. Finally. Okay, guys, I think I've got everything down. I have a salvaged pickaxe right here, which is very nice. The furnace is going again. And I have 11 arrows, so... Let's head over. Oh, shit. Please don't attack me. Oh, boy. Okay, good. The chopper's not attacking me. That is nice. And actually... Before I get in the cave, I just need to make the base secure. I need to make it out of stone and to put a, a sheet metal door on it. I just have to. But the only things left to do in this episode are get a sheet metal door and to get in the caves. Because I, I, I want to put this in this video. I want to show you guys the caves and I want to explore them myself. So, let's put all this stuff in here. So yeah, let's get out and grab some wood so I can make that uh, that sheet metal door. Alright guys, let's take a look outside if there's someone in the area. Doesn't look like it. So, let's remove that lock. Let's remove that door. Let's put this door down and add this. There we go. Now we are 100% safe, like 99%. If someone comes here with C4 or 4 satchel charges, which is kind of unlikely right now, um, I am good. So yeah, that makes me kind of happy. Oh boy, luckily I put down my... Okay, they have a bow as well. There are at least two guys. Fuck, I wanted to get out in the caves. I could try to open the door once really quickly and see if someone's out there and close it again instantly. Okay, one, two, three. Didn't hear anyone, okay. Um, just gonna put my salvaged ice pick away because that's the most valuable thing I have on me right now. Okay, are these guys still around? Doesn't look like it. Great, well, let's grab my ice pick again and let's head over to the caves. So this right here is a small entrance where there's this rope going down the, the small hole and this right here is another small entrance and this right here is the big entrance. That is just amazing guys. I am so hyped about it. Okay fuck, do I get out of here? Okay good, I can get out. Now let's see what we get in here. Please tell me there are no bear traps or anything. That would suck. And I need to look out for um, for notes in here. B 
because that's that's why I'm going in here. First of all, to explore, and second, to uh, grab up on some little notes in here. There's one right here. Oh, oh boy. Holy shit, this is amazing. Oh my god. They did such a good job on these on these caves. Now my FPS isn't dropping at all. Maybe it's because of the server because there are only 100 people on here. And I am asking myself if I hit the notes down here, is anyone on the on the upper floors hearing that? Like not on the upper floors, but on the on the ground, is anyone hearing that? I don't hope so because then everybody would know that there's a cave or something like that. Oh my god. Kinda wanna go down there, but oh shit. Oh hell no, I'm not going down there. If I go down there I'm going to fall and die. So that's that's uh I'm I'm not heading out. 1.5k stone, that's good. Let's go this way. I haven't been here. It's so dark, oh my god. Oh my, oh shit. Okay, I don't get out of here. But I want to keep this 1.5k. You know what, fuck it. I'm doing this for you guys. Oh, wait. Don't do oh, I can climb this shit. Oh my god. This is honestly the most amazing thing I have seen in Rust. Like... This is just amazing. Wow. Okay, where where does it go down? Oh, right here. Okay. Oh my god, this is amazing. Let's see where this leads to. It goes down very, very far. I hope I can make it out here alive. Okay, but this is this is like the same section again, so it's it's just like a few sections they built and an Oh, f what? I can't get out here. Okay, shit. No, I just wasted some time. <laughs> but this was amazing, though. Let's get out of here. Let's see how this works. How easy it is to get out. Okay, it's fairly easy. If you just look at the wall and jump constantly, you can make it out easily. Oh my god, and also fights? Fights in these caves would be so so hard but also so amazing so yeah this the way up was very easy and i want to keep exploring this is the way out so let's let's check this again and see if we can you know what fuck it i'm i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go down here i will most likely die though uh oh shit this is very very deep um, let's make some more bandages, just in case I don't die, I can heal myself. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three, and let's go down there. Oh, I'm still alive! Oh shit, yes! Good, I thought it was a lot deeper. Uh, nice, there's another note here. Let's get this little thing. Okay, I can't go... I can't go this way, there's nothing here. Um, this is the way out. Uh, I think I have to do some parkour here. Oh, yes, there we go, nice. But I think I need to be careful right now with uh, what I got. Oh my god, this is brilliant. This is amazing, they added some some nice parkour stuff here. Oh boy, okay, now let's... Nice, nice, nice. There we go. That's amazing. Is this a note? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, let's see. Uh, there's this way and there's this way. Let's see where this leads to. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, this is just where I was before. So if I would go down there, I would have to... Uh, I would have to climb up all the way. So let's see where... <gasps> I just found a... Oh my, f oh my, oh my, oh my god, this is amazing. I just found a place to build in the, in this cave. So, 
This could be a 2x2 two two or maybe even a 3x3, three three, I think. Can I? Let's see. Yeah, I don't have anything to place it yet. So yeah, it could be it could be a 3x3 three three in here. Holy shit, this is amazing. I love the caves already. They are so good. But I'm kind of lost. I have no idea how to get out. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, this is a way up. So I guess it's a use lift. Oh my god. This is amazing. I don't know how many times I said that this is amazing, but it is really, truly amazing, guys. If you have rust, you need to find yourself one of these caves. Oh, there's another building place right here, but for a 2x2, two two, like a little base. And you can make like an entrance here, like a door here and a door there. Oh, shit, this is amazing. Oh, cool, okay, so this was... This is the 3x3 three three space. This is the 2x2 two two space. And... I, I'm, I came from there, so I have to go here now. Oh my god, this is cool. This is so cool there. They even added some, some broken ones here. Okay, let's let's try it. Oh shit. <laughs> First try, fail. Come on now. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can imagine if you're in here having a fight and you're trying to get out of here, it's going to be very nervous and very, very, very tricky to do these parkour things. Oh shit, this is a big building thing right here. Oh, that's amazing. So maybe you can build a 3x3 or even 4x4 in here. Or maybe like a round base, so people can just like still get through here. That's so cool guys, that is so cool. Am I on my way out now? Or where am I? Where is this leading to? I don't know. Um, oh nice, there's another lift here. Ooh, I saw some bugs with this lift, but let's try this thing. Use it. Please don't let... If I fall down now, I would be so pissed. Okay, everything is still good, everything is still good. But if I would fall down here, I would be dead instantly. Nice! Okay, wait, I'm... Oh, it's it's going down automatically. That's great. That's very great. So you have to use the main entrance and go through the cave to get to this... to this uh, lift right here. And I think that I just found one of the biggest caves that they made. Or like one really, really large cave. And I'm really happy about that. It's awesome. Okay, shit. Now I just need to get home safely. I have to use these three K stone that I got out of this cave. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay guys, that is it for this episode. The code lock on the ladder hatch is down, that means we are almost 100% secure. As I said, I can't play for two days, so that's until Sunday. I hope my base is still standing down and I hope the foundations are not going to be that much decayed. If you want to build in the area, that's completely fine, just please don't grieve me with the with the two cupboards somewhere or anything like that um yeah or just just don't raid me and it's just stuff like that you know that <laughs> but yeah that's about it hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did then please leave a like it supports me a lot and let me know in the comments what you think about the caves do you think they're awesome do you think they suck just just throw your opinions down in the comments and yeah i will hope you have a great day and until next episode Goodbye.